businesses. And some local citizens are taking the fight against coronavirus into their own hands. I'm going to introduce you to some amazing volunteers working behind the scenes to protect our nurses and doctors. Healthcare workers at Carillion Clinic now have another defense against the coronavirus, thanks to Nathan O'Kane. The Salem resident saw a design for 3D printed face shields on the National Institutes of Health's website. So he turned to the community for help, posting on Facebook last week, asking locals with 3D printers to make headbands for face shields for doctors and nurses. Over 90 people volunteered. Well, I had no idea that there would be this much support, especially that there would be this many printers in the area, but it really um, was a huge effort that spanned down to North Carolina up to Lexington. Once the headband is printed, a plastic sheet like what's used on overhead projectors can be attached using a three-hole punch. O'Kane worked with Carillion to get the design awesome. approved. Saturday, awesome, awesome. he and some other volunteers like David C. assembled and dropped off 915 masks. Very proud of every, every person, whether they printed three or 50. Um, they really did a good job. A heartwarming gift, Vice Chair of Emergency Medicine, Dr. Damon Keel says, is a game changer for all Carillion employees. Nurses, techs, respiratory therapists, physicians, this is one thing that I'll also preserves all of the other personal protective equipment that we use. A small army of volunteers dedicated to helping those on the front lines. Well, I think there's no doubt that people are inherently good. 3D printers are not like microwaves. You really have to watch them, make sure they're running right, fix them, maintain them. And the filament is not free either. So they're stepping up financially, they're stepping up um, with their time. And I just think it's a great, great effort everybody's making. Definitely a lot of great work there from those volunteers. Now, making these masks isn't easy. In total, volunteers used 13 to 15 miles of filament, and that's the plastic material that's used in 3D printing. Just imagine that, 15 miles of it. They also spent 4,500 hours printing all the masks, and the best part is these volunteers are not done yet. They plan to make hundreds more. Well, a teenager